Just a brief uh, <clears throat> demo of the Heathkit twins. I've just been uh, refurbishing these. Uh, a few cap replacements. Um, a bit of troubleshooting on the uh, on the transmitter. The bandpass filters were not adjusted correctly on the 15 meter and 10 meter bands. Um, I've now locked them in place with a little little dab of goo because they're uh, very very sensitive to uh, movement, and I uh, could easily see why why a vibration or something like that would knock them out of tune. Anyway, they're, uh, they're on tune now. Um, I got the. The power supply turned to 300 volts on the low voltage. Um, it's on 10 meters. Um, on 10 meters, I think the spec is something like 70 watts output on the transmitter. Um, side tone switched on, receiver switched on. It's receiving nothing. <laughs> so, transmitter's tuned to 28 megs. It's um it's just feeding into a dummy load in the uh, the ICU antenna tuner there. And I think the uh, the ISO, um power output meter goes to 150 watts, but I don't really trust it. I think it reads a bit uh, optimistically. I think um, maybe 100 watt is full scale deflection on that. And I think this little Vanco unit. I think that's the other way. I think that's a little bit mean with the readings. So <laughs> so um, is it tuned up on 28 megs. Uh, Vanco shares are getting about 45 watts, something like that, and the uh, and the eyes of Musen says we're getting over 150 watts. So I don't know what to believe. <laughs> it's somewhere in between. I think it's working correctly anyway. We're getting uh, a good relative power reading on the uh, on the um, the actual transmitter meter, and I did uh, check it's tuned up correctly. A little bit more power on the other bands. Um, I think the spec is 100 watts on the uh, the other bands, and uh, we're definitely getting about a 25% more power on those. So there we go, uh, the uh, the Heathcote twins.